This is the Phantom GX2 Elite, and this is the Predator Predstrike Elite. And in today's video, I'm going to do a full comparison test between these two power boots and help you guys decide which one you should buy. The Predator Elite features a full hybrid touch upper with strike skin elements here in that striking zone on the medial side of your foot and the control frame for the sole plate. The Phantom GX2 features a fully grip knit upper with a fly knit lacing system area and the Nike Cyclone 360 tooling. So similar to the one month reviews, I'm going to go through every aspect of these football boots now that I have tested them and give you guys a good idea of how they stack up against each other. And there's some really interesting key differences. Let's talk sole plate first. So the control frame on the Predator is quite a bit more neutral feeling, very, very balanced underfoot and really does a nice job on both AG surfaces like I have here and FG surfaces like the stadium you see behind me. Now, the Cyclone 360 sole plate is not a bad sole plate, but it's very aggressive for AG surfaces and it's very suitable for FG. So if you're going to pick one boot for a hybrid style of player that plays both on FG and AG, I would highly recommend the control frame over the Nike Cyclone 360. A few of the reasons why I think this sole plate is superior on the Predator is because of the shape of the studs, the length of the studs, and the stability and the way it feels under feet. Now, this section here in the midfoot of this control frame really does a nice job at not bending. You don't have any excessive bending there, but you do have a nice amount of snap back here through the forefoot area. The studs, on the other hand, are the perfect length, in my opinion. Not too long, not too short, and they're suitable for both AG and FG surfaces, especially with these cutout triangle type studs. They look a little bit more like star-shaped studs, but they've got rounded edges that give you the ability to pivot and turn as you're moving into the ground and then also the amount of traction you would need to focus for lateral stability and movement. Nike Cyclone 360 on the other hand is a little bit different and it's not really my favorite sole plate. In fact, it's probably towards the lower end of my favorite sole plates. I do really appreciate the way that the underfoot feel of the ball feels like. That's a really nice feature. Compared to the control frame, every other aspect of this, it's a little bit more narrow for such a wide fitting football boot so it feels a little bit unstable on under feet unless you're on a proper FG pitch and I just don't think this was the right sole plate decision for Nike to make for this boot. Heel areas for both of these boots are actually quite equitable and both very comfortable from my heel shape. The perforated suede material on the GX carries over from the GX1 and I do think it does a really nice job of wrapping your heel area. Similarly with the suede with the little grip micro texturing on the inside of the Predator I think these also do a really nice job of wrapping your foot. A big improvement over the Predator accuracy that these took over from. In my opinion, both of these heel areas are going to be suitable for most heel shapes. I think because of the flexibility of both of these heel areas and the fact that neither have uh, heel cups that go all the way up, you do have the flexibility both with your Achilles and with the uh, I would say the longitudinal flexibility of each of these heel areas. And so for me, this is kind of a tie. The tongue area is another key difference feature. As you can see, you've got a standard U-throat tongue here on the Predator that does a nice job with the width of making sure that regardless of whether the tongue is moving side to side, you've got a decent amount of coverage on both sides. I found that despite there only being one little lace loop there for the tongue for the laces to go through, it does stay relatively central, although I do find after shooting sessions and crossing sessions, this, do, this does move slightly back and forth a little too much for my taste. I do tend to prefer a knit collar of some sort, which is why in the initial review of the Predator I said it was confusing that they didn't just put the knit from the plus variant or the laceless variant into this football boot with the laces, similar to the construction of the GX. Now the GX is a standard fly knit construction. You've got a really nice wrap around your foot in all areas and it does do a fantastic job of keeping your foot locked in. So for me, the lacing system area goes to the GX. Now the main feature that we're going to talk about is the grip elements 
performance on both. You've got the Nike grip knit, which incorporates into the entirety of this upper, and then you've got the revolutionary strike skin technology that goes onto the Predator. Now, both provide a very nice amount of grip. I would say the concentration of grip, or the grip that you get within that particular area, is a little bit more aggressive on the Predator. That being said, I think the grip on the GX2 is quite a bit more manageable and feels a little bit more natural. So if you're somebody who is looking for that all out grip experience where you're gonna get crazy whip on your shots, you're gonna get crazy whip on the corner kicks, on free kicks and everything, the Predator is probably your choice. But for me, I prefer something a little bit more subtle that feels really natural on feet. And so for me, the grip style elements are gonna go to the GX2. The uppers on these two football boots are both exceptional, but for different reasons. The out of box comfort of the GX2 is absolutely sensational. Whereas the lockdown and the performance benefits you get from a hybrid touch 2.0 after breaking it in are really superior I think to the grip knit that being said if you're looking for just comfort straight out of the box and you want a boot you can just absolutely lash in the GX is your choice and for those players who are looking for a little bit more lockdown overall and maybe a tighter fit overall I would go for the Predator as far as width and fit is concerned you can see they're quite equitable I would say the toe box of the Predator is probably slightly wider out of the box although the softness of the GX makes it really easy to get to this point pretty easily. And then on the midfoot, the GX definitely wins. Uh, the midfoot of the Predator, similar to last generation, isn't thin by any means, but it's definitely, it definitely tapers off compared to up here in the forefoot area. And I would say that overall, both have a decent amount of width to them. I find both to be really super comfortable. That being said, GX2 wins for me for out-of-the-box comfort and then for performance and lockdown and all that stuff, I think the Hybrid Touch 2.0 wins. All right, fam, now that we've gone over the tech specs and the differences between these two boots, I'm very curious to know which ones you would pick for your trainings and your games. For me, I'm really torn because I think both of these boots are absolutely exceptional. If this was the AG pair, this would win out no matter what because I'm just really excited about knit boots in general. That being said, for the sake of this comparison, I think the Predator might win this one. What am I gonna wear? Probably the GX. And I know that's a little bit confusing, but I think overall as a package for performance and all that stuff, I think the Predator just has that little edge up, plus you have a sole plate that's way better, I think objectively than the Cyclone 360 sole plate. And so, you have the ability to play on AG and FG surfaces, and with the GX, you've got this incredible comfort straight out of the box, which is why I'm gonna wear this as opposed to the Predator most days if I had to pick. Uh, luckily, I don't, and I can wear both, but I'm really curious to know why you guys would pick the ones you would pick down in the comment section down below. Thanks for joining me for today's boot comparison. If you're interested in more boot comparisons, leave which ones you wanna see compared next, and we'll do another boot battle. As always, be awesome, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.